Now it's time to put this all together. What we have here is a starting point. So of course, you're gonna to wanna to get this on GitHub unless you want to copy the whole thing. Um, this is what we're starting with. We're starting with some names, some amounts, and a message, right? So what we wanna do here is we're gonna loop through all the names and also we're gonna loop through all the amounts and then we're gonna format the message accordingly and basically print out that message and uh, essentially send it to somebody. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna adjust our message to be formatted. Right now, it's not in a way that can be formatted because we don't have the variables that we've just talked about. So in this case, I would wanna change hi there to hi name, right? And then if then we go with the through here, we would wanna change maybe this date to date and then the purchase total to some total and I'll say total, right? So three things that we're kind of changing here. Um, so we now have a kind of standard message that we can use for all of these different names. So now what we're gonna do is define make messages. So we're making this, this sort of um, function that's gonna take in names and amounts. So we'll say names and amounts. And this function, we wanna return back a list of formatted messages. So I'll just say messages equals to an empty list. And then we'll do if the length of the names is equal to the length of the amounts. So this is kind of important. Um, I do challenge you to break this, but if these aren't the same, right? If they aren't the same length, then what we're about to do will probably break. And I'll explain where it'll break once it would happen. And we'll all even show you how it will break. So we're gonna say i is equal to zero. I'll explain that in a second too, but hopefully you already know this. We'll do for name and names. So here I'm iterating through the keyword parameter, not these up here. So I'll say default names and default amounts to not get those confused. So for name and names, we're First off, we want to actually format this message. So let's just format it based off of the name. So I'll just say message equals to the formatted message, or I'll say unformatted or UNF message equals to UNF message dot format. And then I'll just say name equals to name, right? I can continue to format the other items too. So I could say date equals to some date and then I could say um, total equals to some amount. So let's just do 129 or whatever, 99. So now I have this message. I can also print out this message. So I'll just call this actually new MSG instead of message. So new message and new message, there we go. So we now have this function and it should work. So let's actually check it out. And I'll just say make messages. And now it's gonna be default names as the first key argument and then default amounts as the second one because first, second. Okay, so now that we've got this, let's go ahead and test it. I'm gonna copy this entire thing and we're gonna bring it into Python. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit it out and then go back into Python 3, paste those things in, and there we go. So it actually did format everything as we see. So it says, hi, Justin, thank you for the purchase on some date. Just as a reminder, the total was 129.99. Well, that's not what we want. We want today's date and we want their actual total based off of these positions, right? And that's where this I is gonna come in. So in each loop, we're gonna uh, adjust the position of where it should be. So the first thing, let's go ahead and put the total, and I'm just gonna use default amounts, or excuse me, amounts that's being passed as the parameter. And I'm gonna come in here, and I'm gonna pass in I. So now what we're doing is we're looping through the names, and then we're getting the same position for the amounts. So the first one is gonna be Justin, the amount is gonna be 123.32. So that's actually all we'll leave it at yet, but then I do also wanna do i plus equals to one. So then that way the loop is actually going through accordingly. And that's even more important why these lengths are important. So if these, if either one was wrong, like if, if there wasn't enough amounts, then we would get an index error, which I'll show you in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this stuff again, and we're gonna paste it in here. And now it actually shows us the amounts. The format of the amounts is kind of bad, but we'll fix that in just a moment. But everything else is right. So the numbers are right, all that's good. So let's actually take off one of these numbers. I'm gonna just get rid of that last number there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. And I'm also gonna get rid of this if statement. So I'm gonna tab this back. So notice I got rid of that if statement and I tabbed all of this stuff back, otherwise I'd get a spacing error. I'm gonna copy everything and come in here and now I get this list index at a range. So all of them, except for the very last name, which is Whitney, um, actually don't show up, right? All of them except for the very last name and that's because these lists are not the same size. Now if I bring back in the if statement, I'm gonna come in here, now it doesn't make any of the messages. So it's not the greatest thing ever to have this sort of statement, but at the very least, it's not gonna break everything. So let's put that amount back in, and now we have all of our amounts. So if I copy and paste it one more time, should work just fine. So now we did learn about the amount formatting in the Python cheat sheet. So if I wanted to uh, format all of the amounts so they all look the same, that is they all have two digits in their decimal place, I could come in here and I could take a look at the float substitution and I see that there's one called two decimal places. So this is how I could format it. So I could literally copy this, come back in here and inside of name in that for loop, I'm gonna paste this in. I don't need to print it out, but I could just change this text to being, let's call this the new amount and it says two decimal places, right? So we can get rid of that part of this string, get rid of that. And now it just says 20, which we can replace with our actual amount, which was amounts, and we paste that in there. Great, so that's the bulk of the actual challenging part for this actual formatting, right? Two sets of data to format our message. Of course, we can test this out, copy it, paste it in here, and now what we see is the amounts actually change based on the positions that they're in. Pretty cool. Now, the next part is actually updating this date. Now, of course, you could have another list of dates, but instead, I'm just gonna say today, because I'm acting like this message is being created for purchases that were done today, now, soon, around this time. Uh, this date is just kind of arbitrary, but it is important to see how the formatting the date is done. So what we could do is I'm just gonna grab this very first one. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that whole thing. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna paste it above my function. So the reason I paste it above my function is because I actually wanna put the import at the very top of the Python file. This is actually a best practice type of thing to do is whenever you import another module, which I'll explain what that is later, but whenever you import something, you're gonna to wanna to have it right at the top of Python uh, or the file that you're working in. So now we've got this formatted text here. I can actually go ahead and cut this out and paste it inside of this loop as well. Well, since it's the same actual date, I don't need to paste it in the loop. I can actually paste it outside of the loop because it's not gonna change. The date just doesn't change in this loop. Um, of course, again, if you're wanting to format it to something different, then you totally could do that. Um, so I'm gonna use this text for our sum date and just paste it in here and go ahead and get rid of that print statement. And now I'm gonna copy everything again and paste it in here. And now what we see is an actual date that's showing up. So there we go, that is our message. It's actually creating and crafting this message for you that is showing you in a date, it's giving you an amount that's based off of a position, and we do have spelling errors, that happens, whatever. Um, but one thing I do wanna leave you with and challenge you to do is we have some capitalization errors and we also might not want to put the exclamation point, or we might wanna have a different one for each person. That part, the, the punctuation is not that big of a deal, but the capitalization might be. So what I recommend or suggest that you guys do as a bonus, which I will have this in the final bonus code, is to update and change these names inside of your function, right? So inside of here, make the change to the default names so they're all capitalized, the first letter is capitalized, and then everything else is not. Um, so like as if you were calling someone by their name. Right now they're not like that. So that's my little challenge to you. That's the end of day six. I know we covered a ton here. Um, I realize that, but I do want to emphasize that everything that we covered here is important, but it's just gonna be stacked on. So what I mean is we're gonna come back to this stuff. This reference guide, is something that is there for a reason. You absolutely should use this reference guide. Don't try and memorize these things. Just go back to the reference guide. Over time, they will start to sink in. 
the main part of all of this is understanding how to use it in context. So when you need to use it. So this example that we did, this function that we built is an example of when you might actually use all of this stuff in context. In context. Like if you were sending out a message that had to deal with a variety of things of data, this is exactly what you would do, which is really cool that now you can actually build a function and, and you notice how simple it is where we started and where we're at now. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, okay, cool. So if you guys have any questions on this, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you tomorrow.